It's been a decade since the Nebraska Fair has moved to Grand Island, and it's changed the way many people work. Now we're learning about some of those changes, and Sarah has more from the fair. It paid for itself in the first year. A street once littered with confusing cones and police officers is now controlled by this traffic light, the first event signal in town. Our uh, traffic crew got to learn about event signal timing and long signal cycles where you you can get up to 15 minutes in one direction. The signal was moved for the state fair, but Collins says that event timing is used for all events at Fauner Park. Most of the other things we've done, like some of the speed changes on 30 and things of that nature, needed to be done anyway, but we did it in a way that facilitated the fair. New to fairgoers this year, Stolly Park Road has been striped to three and five lanes instead of just two. Construction crews building new hotels have also been a regular sight in the last 10 years, according to the Grand Island Visitors Bureau. There's a new uh, comfort suites being built right uh, south of here, another 80 plus rooms going in. And so, yes, we've seen a steady increase in the inventory of rooms over time. Uh, since the state fair came online. Melima says these multi-million dollar buildings have drastically changed the way his office works. Grand Island has uh, really came into its own as far as a destination and we compete with major cities such as Kansas City, uh, Indianapolis, uh, Dallas Fort Worth when it comes to the livestock show things. And he says they now have a new $200,000 budget to attract big events all year round paid for with food and beverage tax dollars. That's a huge game changer and it allows us to compete on a larger scale with some communities quite a bit larger than us. Melima says they're specifically trying to woo livestock, agribusiness, education and sporting events, especially during what they call the shoulder seasons, October, November, December and February and March. Reporting in Grand Island, Sarah Kirkley, NTV News. Melima says right now they have three or four major livestock shows a year, and this year they hosted their first major ag show. As for roads, the GI Public Works director says a rebuild of Locust Street is planned for 2024, and he'd also like to make adjustments to stir and Stolly Park roads in the future. 